Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to begin working on the key and circuit. This is the full schematic. This is in the uh, set of schematics you can get if you just request them. I'll put the, my uh, email address up at the end of this video. Um, we're going to do it one step at a time. Try to take it slow enough for if anybody hasn't worked with these parts before, you can kind of get an idea how they go together. So, we have the key-in transistor. It's a TIP35, MJE3055, either one. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive. Find them at Mauser or on eBay. The 20 microfarad, 50 volt electrolytic cap right here. 2.2K resistor. Two 1N4148 diodes, switching diodes, and a 10 picofarad disc cap right here. So we'll go to show you just, we're dealing with just this. That's all it is. I'm going to hook up these parts right here and hook it up to the transistor. We don't have the unit out here, so we don't have to put it in yet. We can assemble this stuff before we put it in the uh, the uh, chassis and solder it to ground. So, start with the diodes. You'll notice one band is facing up, one is facing away. So you put them together with one band going towards and one band going away from the junction. Just simply get them squared up. Pull them together. That'll be your tie point. Now we're going to put this across the capacitor. The band is the positive end. So we have a positive end of the capacitor and a negative end is the case. And all we're going to do is just saddle it right across the capacitor. Just that simple. Snip off the excess wire. So, snip off some excess there. Get the gun warmed up. So, and put some solder on the diodes. Whoop. That's in focus. That's what we got so far. Now we're going to trim a little bit of wire off the cap, like so. in it. And then solder it to the diodes. Want to stick. Okay, here's that. looks that joint. Get it a little bit neater. There we go. Okay, that looks better. Okay, now 
Got that. Gonna take uh, on the positive end. Gonna snip this off. Gonna tie in the diode. Or not diode, excuse me. <laughs> Get ahead of myself here. Tie in the resistor to that. bent these leads out so we can get at them. Collector, the center, emitter on the right, base on the left. What we're going to do is we're going to hook the resistor to the base and the emitter going to hook it over here to the transistor or the ground end of the capacitor. I'll just kind of square it up. It's tedious here. I get it all held in two fingers. Put a couple twists around there. Bring this in. A couple twists are good enough. I'll solder it. Now what the emitter will hook to, once we get it into the chassis, one of those ground lugs I was telling you about. Okay, trim off the excess. <clears throat> now if you was wanting to do sideband switch, you would simply hook two resistors on here. One of them can be a 330 ohm and the other one the 2.2K or you you could adjust it. The higher you go with resistance the longer it's going to take the unit to unkey. You can just keep that in mind. So the 330 ohm will be your AM and the 2.2 or all the way up to a 4.7K that'll be your sideband delay and you just simply tie that in with a switch and when we get to that part in the chassis I'll uh, point out where uh, the wires would go because that can always be changed later by just removing it off this end and simply adding another resistor here there will be a wire from each resistor out to the switch one wire back from the switch to here so you would choose which one you want in there real simple Okay, we're all ready for to solder this thing in the chassis. Okay, I've got the light right in my eyes. Try to see the screen of the camera. I think it's zeroed, yeah, it's zeroed in. <clears throat> okay, here we are on the chassis. The, the antenna and radio relay, the main key and relay. And we're going to put this key and transistor in here. This transistor would normally drive this relay on other amps that don't have to have the uh, screen relay uh, to where it's got to be like a two-step key up. Uh, but it has to have a place to live. So I've chosen this lower ground lug. If you can see that on the uh, coax connector. And I'm going to, I've already tinned it. I'm just going to put it in here, crimp it, get it somewhat ready to live in there, and then solder it in. And squeeze in here. Okay. This is the 10 picofarad cap that we 
hooked on. We haven't hooked it yet. Like get the light out of my eyes to work. Okay. This 10 picofarad cap goes to the radio connector. It's tied to the diodes. It's going to go to the radio connector. And that's right here, this little copper wire. This is the little disc cap. Going to bring it down on the underside. And just kind of wing it around. Solder it in. Okay. Now everything's easy to get at. We can get at the end of the cap to put our sideband and our AM delay resistors later. They'll hook up to switches. And they're out easy access. The collector now can be, we can grab a hold of that and we're going to mount the uh, main master keying relay right here by it. And I'll, we'll do that. I'll pause the camera here and come right back and we'll uh, show you how to wire that up. Okay, on with the march here. It's been a couple days dealing with snow and everything, but uh, we're back at it. Okay, the last that I had uh, added to the chassis here was got these diodes hooked up, the two keen detector diodes, the uh, input capacitor, the charge capacitor for the uh, keen circuit, for, and then the keen transistor, and the resistor, and that's all right here that circuit you see me put that in all nestled in grounded here's the uh, little 10 puff cap there's one of the diodes little uh, switching diodes right there probably can't see it but right back here is the little resistor okay this step we're gonna hook the collector of the transistor key and transistor up to the master relay R RY1 going to hook that to the coil of it. And that is right here. This little relay is nestled in. So we're going to go from the collector to one of the coil legs and then I will hook up one of the contacts from that. This contact right here to uh, the, it's the movable contact. Uh, and that'll get hooked to 24 volt. We don't have the 24 volt circuit in yet, but um, I'm going to make the connection from the other leg of the coil to that movable contact and it'll all be ready to hook up later. Okay, be right back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Um, what I just did was make the connection between the collector and the relay here. This is the main schematic of the whole, the whole key and circuit here, what you're looking at. And so what that was, I've added this, this resistor. This resistor I had already crossed the cap and I added the diode. So here's the resistor. Here's the diode from the master key and relay over to here and the resistor back to the to the cap. The cap grounded it to the same post that I mounted the emitter of the transistor on and the other side of the coil ground back to that same post. So ground there and uh, ground on the capacitor grounded the side of the relay and then the relay to the diode and then through the resistor to the cap through the resistor to the cap and through the diode back to the main relay right here back to this contact 
and that's ground again was tied in at the same place because it was just convenient I just tied that ground right to here a little ground post that I had okay um, we're actually on step one now the schematics that I've already sent out I've had to make a correction on um, uh, and I caught the problem when I was making the little demonstration unit I originally had the uh, key in line coming from here from this from the uh, contact on the master relay I had it coming up and going to the center contact of the antenna relay and I discovered that wasn't going to work if we wanted lights to operate like transmit and receive like if you wanted a red light an LED to go red when you key up and a green one on receive that wouldn't work because this is going to be shut off on receive so the new schematic that I went ahead and redrew it now just leaves this connected to 24 volts there was no need to run that I just for some reason I originally drew it that way and caught it later as a problem that wouldn't work that line that went through there now is this one going on to the screen relay and we'll get to that in the step the next step so where we're at this has been done this is our step one um, in this unit here I'm not adding the sideband resistor yet I'll come back and do that later there's something uh, a tip that uh, through a conversation of one of the viewers um, I thought I'd go ahead and throw this out there you can replace this resistor with a 5k pot and then you'll have AM with it fully counterclockwise and as you turn it up like a volume control the delay will get longer and longer for sideband that way you can adjust it exactly to how you want it and that's just simply a little 5k pot uh, in place of this switch the AM sideband switch so it's just a variable tensiometer so R1 can get replaced with a 5k pot if you have any questions on that, feel free to ask me and I'll, I'll give you more info if, if you need it. I just figured that was probably pretty simple. Just omit the resistors and you just put a 5K pot in there. Or this way I have it here is a 330 ohm in uh, AM. The sideband is always in line. So you just open the switch. You've got your high resistor in there for your longer delay. And to shorten the delay up, you close the switch, and that throws the 330 ohm on there for a short delay for AM. Okay, uh, next step will, oh, before I get too far along here, I'm wiring this up, and I wanted to call your attention to this. It's pretty handy stuff. It's rotor cable. I think I've got five wire rotor cable but eight wire would give you eight colors so if you just find some old eight wire or five wire rotor cable strip it out if you can save the casing that makes nice uh, protective spaghetti to uh, cover wires up and keep them all neat uh, so it's handy to have some of that around when you like go through a, a chassis hole and you want to protect the wires you can slip a sleeve of this on there and that'll protect them but yeah gives you five colors or eight depending on which uh, rotor cable you find okay um, next step we're gonna go to so we've got this done see we're already on in step two that's right we've got this diode in resistor in the 10k in the 330 ohm that's all right here all wired up so now we're going to tap off of the junction where the diode comes back to this contact that's right here and I'm going to hook up the screen relay that is right here the screen relay it has the same kind of circuit only there's a diode in here in a different direction 
You see the difference. This diode is before the resistor, so the resistor is connected right to the relay through the cap. And on this one, the diode in line that keeps this relay from staying keyed once you unkey it allows it to key up slowly or yeah key up slowly and then unkey fast because there's a voltage drop across this resistor while this cap charges but the diode prevents the stored energy in the cap from going back to the relay and keeping it charged or closed so it allows it to open just as soon as the master relay opens okay so we're gonna hook that up next we got the 10k resistor already across the cap I've got to bring a wire and hook a diode up I've got can't quite see it but these two little wires right here are the contact protection the point protection cap that's buffered across the contacts so when the contacts open you don't have an arc here just a 0.01 one kV just a little disc cap it's already already on there so I'm gonna go ahead and add the wires so I'll put the ground the ground is gonna go to a uh, little uh, ground lug this hole and these things right here is where the screen transformer is gonna mount so when I get that mounted that's where that ground lug is gonna get mounted to on the relay we'll bring that right to it right here so the cap, the cap and the resistor and the relay all get grounded to one point. And then it'll be a wire from the 100 ohm resistor going back to the master relay. Coming all the way from here back to this point on that relay. Okay, I'll be right back when I get that done. Okay, step three is finally done. What I did was started by tying a wire from the master relay, bringing it to this 100 ohm resistor, R4. That's the blue wire. I've changed colors on this one. Coming clear up here. Here's the main contact from the master relay up to the resistor, up to that diode junction where the diode also ties to the relay probably in the shaft, yeah it's right there, yeah the diode goes right to that. The other side of the relay is grounded and the cap is also grounded to that. Comes down here and I've got this on an eyelet. Now whenever this transformer gets mounted that eyelet will be tied to ground right there. And that's it. Okay one thing I want to call your attention to, I haven't mentioned it yet, but when you get ready to do your cord strain relief. Uh, it's off camera. <laughs> here we go. This thing here has two screws, clamps down on your rubber cord, holds it in place, goes in with a little ring connector or a ring nut like so. And you can get these at uh, oh, Home Depot probably has them. Uh, we have a local place here called Grover's Electrical Supply and uh, they're about uh, I think 65 cents for these. Um, the other thing I wanted to make note of here, whoop, I got a low battery light so we'll talk about that in the next video. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions give me a uh, send me an email radiomedic at yahoo.com and if you feel this has been valuable uh, you've learned something from what I'm teaching and you would like to kind of help out would appreciate anything you, that you want to donate and that my PayPal is Honda dash CB 350 at live.com anything would be appreciated and please hit the like button we kind of like to raise the number of the likes I'd 
maybe get this out there to more people can see it hopefully okay thank you and uh, we'll see you on the next video we'll start working on the uh, I believe uh, the screen voltage yeah screen supply and uh, key and circuit power supplies come next thank you see you then bye